it's Nicole. I know I've been gone a long time. It's been a hot second since I uploaded a video and I won't bore you with the details. I'll just say that work has been crazy. Today I'm going to try and film like a bunch of videos so I hope you like this outfit because you're going to be seeing a lot of it. Since today's Wednesday, I'm going to be doing a top five Wednesday and this topic is from July 5th and it is top five favorite books without romance. When I first saw this topic, I have to say I was having a little bit of trouble and I'm like just thinking of the books that I typically read or the books that I have read, you know, this year. And I'm like, yeah, they all, they all have romances in them. I had to really go through my Goodreads, like, to see I'm like, oh no, that didn't have, that didn't have romance in it. No, wait, that one did. That one had a romance. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'm kind of, um, I'm a hardcore shipper. If characters have any sort of chemistry together or there's the slightest chance, I'd ship it in a heartbeat. So I love the love. But here are my top five favorite books without romance. Like always, I'm going to start at number five and work my way down. Number five on my list is The Rhythmatist by Brandon Sanderson. This was actually the first Brandon Sanderson book that I read and it's kind of steampunk style-esque and I remember this was actually a while ago I remember enjoying it and the premise was really awesome. The magic and the power in this world is that a rhythmatist can give life to 2D objects known as chocklings like chalk, like right on a chalkboard. I just thought that was really cool. Number four on my list is The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. Not to be confused with The Hobbit movie because there was romance in that. And even though it wasn't canon, I shipped it. I think it was just because of the fact that I love Evangeline Lilly and I love Aiden Turner. Anyway, but I'm talking about the Hobbit book. Yeah, Tariel wasn't a character in the Hobbit. It was, she was a character solely created for the movies. And while I did enjoy her, the book actually didn't have a romance. Number three on my list is Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card. Again, the movie did kind, the movie adaptation did kind of fluff up the romance a little bit uh, for this, but the book Again, not so much. Number two on my list is Unwind by Neil Shusterman. Shusterman? However you say his name. Um, if you haven't read Unwind, it's a dystopian novel after the second civil war that was fought between basically the pro-life and the pro-choice people. And there was a compromise saying that you couldn't harm you couldn't harm or kill a child until he turned until there was a certain age. It was I think it was like 13 to 18. During this time, you can as a parent, you can choose to unwind your child, which is them harvesting their organs to give to people in need. So technically the child isn't dead, he's living, he or she is living in other people. And that's how they settled it. And yeah, there wasn't it's been a while since I read it, but I don't remember there being a romance in there. I love that book. It's great. I do want to reread it and then continue on with the series. Fantastic premise. It just jaw dropping. And number one on my list is Sabriel by Garth Nix. I think I'm saying that right. I always say Sabriel. Sabriel. Because it's kind of it kind of it's kind of spelled like Gabriel, only it's an S. Say. I don't know. But um, this book, the magic in this book is surrounding necromancers and they use different types of bells to sway dead spirits and the dead and really cool. I really enjoy the series. So that's it. That's my top five favorite books without romance. Um, let me know in the comments if you did this topic for top five Wednesday. I really want to watch it and I want to know some of your favorite books without romance. And don't forget to like my video if you did, and comment below and subscribe to my channel, and you can follow me on Goodreads, Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr. I'll see you next time, Avid Readers.